Happy Easter! Are you truly happy today? Easter is important, if not necessary. Without Easter, there is no Catholic Church. Without Easter, there is no Pachem community. Without Easter, our faith, our mission, our vocation would not make any sense. It was St. Augustine who once said, We are an Easter people, and Alleluia is our song. My dear brothers and sisters, we have a lot of reasons to rejoice and be grateful. This week, the Pachim community celebrates the 36th foundation anniversary of their community. Trintay sais ka mga katuigan sa grasya, ug sulod ning maong panahon na bati nato ang makanunayon nga pagiya ug pagpangga sa Dios. Part of our celebration is the investiture of our seminarians, the installation to the ministries and the definitive profession and public profession of faith. Kini mga blessings nga nakalipay gyud nato pag-ayo. We thank God for the wonderful gift of the priesthood. And we continue to pray for all our priests, our seminarians, and for more vocations to the priesthood and consecrated life. And today is another great day in the life of the Pachem community and in the life of the Universal Church. God today is giving us new priests, not one, but three. Florini Istaka Balbarota from Santa Cruz, Paris, Dao District, Tagbilaran City. Arturo Hadlucon Buligao from St. Isidore, Paris, Tubigon, Bohol. And Alvin Sanchez Palma from Immaculate Conception, Paris, Barangay Mirasol, Alamada, North Cotabato. We are so grateful to God for these three good servants who in a few minutes will be ordained priest. Deacon Florvin, Deacon Art, Deacon Alvin, this is the last day we call you Deacon. Today, through the laying on of hands and the prayer of consecration, you will join the order of the presbyters. You will be ordained priest. But please, don't forget this. We no longer call you deacon, but you should not stop living like a deacon. Or else, God will not be happy. And the church, the people of God, will surely suffer. Nganuman, let me explain briefly. There are three orders in the ministry of leadership in the church. The episcopate, ang pagkaobispo, the presbyterate, ang pagapari, and the diaconate, ang pagkadiakono. We do not see the diaconate as the lowest rank among the ordained ministry in the church. Rather, we see it as the essence without which the other two would lose their meaning and purpose. Our dear candidates and our seminarians and all of us in the church must see the ordained ministries in this way, not as ranks, but as layers with a diaconate at the very center. Without the diaconate at the core, both the ministries of bishops and the priesthood lose their meaning and purpose. Maunay rason, mga igsoon, nga nga bisan pag mapari na kita o maubispo, kinahanglan magpabilin gyud ang atong pagka 
diakono diha sa sulod sa atong kasing-kasing ang pare ug ang obispo nga dili na mga lagad nga wa na magpuyo isip diakono usa ka dakong anomalia sa simbahan Jesus our high priest himself clearly said even the son of man came not to be served but to serve to the apostles James and John who were seeking positions of authority within their group Jesus said it shall not be so among you instead whoever desires to be great among you must be your servant and whoever wishes to be first among you must be slave of all this my dear friends explains why in the church we have the term servant leader to the world this idea may seem contradictory a servant usually does not lead and a leader typically does not serve however for christ these two aspects must go together florin arturo and albin kining inyong ordinasyon mahimo nga tan-awon sa mga tawo nga usa ka pagsaka sa rango dili na mo tawgo nila reverend reverend father nagyud kini mga titulo mga igsuon reverend very reverend and most reverend ang mga tawo mo gamit ani sama sa ilang pag-address o mga pangulo diya sa gobyerno o pangagamhanan like presidents ambassadors no tawgo na to your excellency ang ato mga mayor ang ato mga gawad honorable protocol man kini usa ka pagpakita sa ato ang uh, pagrespeto okay lang but sometimes it becomes problematic when we become accustomed to these titles within our church circles or expect to be addressed in such a manner debitaw gitawag sa le minister father father wa mulingi father father uy wa man managat monsignor oh unsa may atong toyo these titles hold little significance in the mind of Jesus we know that this is why even the pope ha huh? si pope francis pag magsuwat siya importante nga dokumento no or letter para sa universal church di man niya butangan this is your holiness pope francis niya yang pirmahan no unsa may ang isuwat iya ang pangalan franciscus niya before sa yang pangalan na ay cruz pirmahan simple ka ayo ngano man ang mga honors ug titles dili man importante Even the bishops also have this tradition. Sa ako mga sulat, dili man ako butangan, and this is the most reverend bishop of Tagbilaran, Alberto Isuy. Di man. Alberto lang, Isuy. Niya na'y kuros sa iyahang sinugdanan, bishop of Tagbilaran. Florwin, Arturo, and Alvin, today, you will be ordained priest for a mission not for titles not for honors your mission is to be guardians of god's people you are to be the protectors the servants the spiritual guides for the family of god jesus is commissioning you to go out into the world which is in need of you the world desires god and seeks to understand him you have received the eternal words given to us by jesus and through your priestly ministry you are entrusted with the wonderful task of introducing god to others and in your ministry as priest you are summoned to carry on the mission of jesus the gospels 
tell us beautiful images of the ministry of Jesus. We see him moving from town to town, teaching and preaching the kingdom of God and doing some wonderful miracles. This is the essence of the priestly calling. Through the grace of being ordained as priest, we are blessed with that privilege to participate in the priesthood of our Lord, serving in the person of Christ, ministering in persona Christi. Those who listen to us are listening to Him, and those who see us will come to understand the love of God the Father. What a privilege. It was St. John Mary Vianney who said this, The priesthood is the love in the heart of Christ. And we ask the intercession of our Blessed Mother. Let us implore her to guide you and to protect you, to deepen our love for God and our love for His people. Thank you.